God is just awesome. Verse 12, Genesis 26. There's a lot to talk about this. And this is also a revisit. Yes, by Isaac. Come on now. So let's go. 12. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man works great and went forward and grew until he became very for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and great stores of servants and the Philistines envied him for all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his father the Philistines had stopped them hey, you understand why we're here in Saul now and, the fill, and fill them with earth and Abimelech said unto Isaac go from us, for thou art much mightier than me. Now he said to my way, but let's read a little bit more. 17. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. So he went and he lived to Gerar. If you check the mileage, you will kind of understand where I'm going with this sermon. And Isaac did again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham. God is specific for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham and he called their names after their names and he called their names after their names by which his father had called them before hallelujah Genesis revelation and Isaac's servants dig in the valley and found there a well of springing water and watch this now the herdsman of Gerar did strive with Isaac Erdman saying the water is what the kind of thing is this? How can water from God be theirs? But anyway, and he called the name of that well Esek because they strove with him for it. Are you coming with me? I'm going somewhere. And they dig another well. Somebody say another well. My God. And and what? And strove for that also. And he called the name of that Sitna. And he removed from thence and dig under the well. And for that they what? They give up. They give up. Jesus. God know how to do it. The word today is Rehoboth digging. Rehoboth digging. Because the Bible says right here, and they strove not, and he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, for now the Lord hath made room for us. And we shall be fruitful in where? In where? In, in the land. One man told me this morning that he lived in the land. And he said, it's so mighty over there. Come on, somebody. God brought us to our land. Go. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God opened the world revival city. But the word today is Rehoboth. Simple then dig again, dig again. That's all God is saying. Dig again. You've been digging. Come on, somebody. You may not find find the dip that you wanted in the first dig, but God said, "I'm making room for you." Come on, somebody. But you have to move yourself far sometime. Come on, somebody. You have to change location and dig again. God said, "Dig again." Verse twenty-three. And he went up from thence to Beersheba. And the Lord appeared unto him at the same night and said, I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee. Hallelujah. And I will bless thee and multiply thee. Come on. And thy seed and my, and my servant Abraham. For my servant Abraham. Watch this part. I love this part about the Bible. I, I, since I became a pastor, you, every time something happens in your life, you must read the Bible again. Let me just get a side note. If you get a promotion, read the Bible again. If you get a birthday, read the Bible again. If you get a listen church, because when I became a pastor, Alpha became very significant for me. And the Bible said, when he got the water bishop, he said, watch this. And he built an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched what? Is bent when you find the well of springing water. Pitch your tent. Somebody say, Yeah. Somebody say, Pitch your tent. Dig on. Pitch your tent. Can I teach you something? I, I'm very open, preacher. Sometimes I get in trouble for it. You know, some people, they vex with me because 
we're in South Florida. But that is not me. It's not me. Disclaimer to do. Hallelujah. It's not a pastor Rangel. It's God. It's God. It's God. Somebody asked me a couple months ago, why Florida? Come on, somebody. I said, you want to kill me? Come on. What kind of question that you ask me? It's God. You have to ask God, why Florida? Why not Florida? Why New York? Why New York? Why Philly? Come on. You have to ask God. He asks me. He asks me. When he came out with 
when he came up. Bishop, 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 Bishop. Not because we are gray here and beard and no chin. That means we must be behave disrespectful. Come on, somebody. I'm a nobody, man. I'm a nobody. They they box Jesus. That's that's my God. And they box him. You, you know what I'm box? They smite him. <laughs> you you theologians. They smite him. Yes, in the Caribbean where I'm from, it's called an insultive slap. Box. The box is very insulting. When the next one boxes, like he, he, he put you down there. Come on, somebody. And they smite him. And they spit on him. Come on, somebody. So who is us? Come on, somebody. We just sojourn us. Stop playing in city. Come on, some of you claim in some city. Some claim in New York. Some claim in Atlanta. My God. And I tell it to you, if you put them to the test, I say, who's the senator? Who's the mayor? Who's the district attorney? I guarantee you, some of them don't have a clue. Come on, somebody. When they just leave it up and try to claim it. Come on, somebody, stop it. God said, think again. Move with the move. Think again. Think again. Don't stop digging. We're diggers. We're diggers. We're diggers. I love, I love to end people, you see. God, God just put that on me. My God, I think I think I think I stayed too close to my vision I was praying sometime. Because all of a sudden I start to love people. I'm praying for people. I'm driving on the highway, everybody passed me. You I said, Lord, deliver that one Lord. One time I said, rebuke him. So I think I'm changing. I think I have changed. My God, this is much prayer I'm praying now with God every day. Every way you may see somebody have to pray for them. God said, again. Stop holding on to the past. Isaac couldn't get the whispering water if he stayed there. Yes, sir. No matter how much he multiplied there, he wouldn't get real what. Come on, somebody. So when you got the big money from where we're coming from, New York, who the big money this and big money that? I'm not looking at how much money they tax you. They tax, they have 10 different tax up there. Sometimes you look at your check, you wonder if they just make up this new tax. Come on, somebody. Come on. Some people fighting people, fighting the profit. Come on, somebody. The Bible says, Can I tell you something? There were some Israelites fighting the war back. Amen. So God tell me to tell you, dig again. Forget about it. When Jesus came from in the belly, he moved up and down. So I just want to say one place. Obviously, you know I'm not preaching to you because you all are here tonight from Vision Church. Clap your hand. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You're pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon you're going to see this church. The Transparent Stadium. You're going to shoot. So you're going to cry tears. Tell you that now. Come on, somebody. But if you stay in one place, you ain't going to see it. You know, come on, somebody. They're going to fight you. The Philistines are going to fight you. That's what happened to the children of God. When Jesus come and teach them night after night, day after day, as soon as he departs, it's what they want to do. Go backwards. Go God send persecution. And they have to go preach abroad. Somebody say amen. Before you before you leave today, grab two legs. Come, we have tracks already, you know. We have tracks for this branch. Grab two tracks and preach. Somebody say, leave again. The Bible said, God told him, listen, man. Those people, they are wicked people. They're scary people. They're scary people. Some, be, some places are going to be scary with all kind of persecution. They persecute the church and want to lock you up in a thing. That's what the Bible says when Abraham, when Isaac went there, guess what he said? It's my sister. Some say they can tell a lie on the tax return. He said, he said it's my sister. You can't say tell a lie because it really was his sister. You look at it. But he was just using the half. But yeah, but why did he do that? Because he was scared. He was scared if he claimed around his wife, he'd get more tax. They died. That's what I mean. You know, read in the Bible. Come on, somebody. They would kill him. Cause they want the man wife. So he said, "It's my sister." Come on. But when you move, when you move, you don't have to tell lie. Come on. When you move, God make room for you. Say amen. Say amen. You better thank God for the move. Because when the transparent still don't come, if we only have one, somebody now get to sing, now get to preach. I, I, I hit a note. <laughs> yes, Lord. 
God will reach you. Come on, somebody. You have telling you preachers, come on, please move. Come, every time I meet a man of God, they ask one person, how are you so much pastors in that church? You guys have so much preachers. Shut up. Because we dig again. Everybody raise up the diggers. Yeah. Not just singers. Sing all you want. <laughs> yeah, you punch it out all you want. But you have the pastor too. You're not saying it. Each one of you each one of you I think we each one of you have a branch in the South Florida. Oh, 
house. Come on, stand up on your feet, church. God said, pick again. You're going to move it your seed. You're going to make you fruitful. Come on, guess what? You're going to make you fearless. You're going to make you fearless. When you think more, you're going to be fearless. I don't want you to answer me, young man. When you hear this car, even though you're Lord leading you to take it, it's still a little like fear. No answer. Don't let nobody see it. Let them work out their own salvation. Yeah. But God said you're going to be fearless to come up. You're going to pass. The more you think, come on. They will then come and fight and say, Thank you. Because you become a professional digger. Amen. Amen. They will steal your branch. Your branch after you work so hard and your branch come up. Everybody run, come on and take it over. Let's go over here and dig again. Somebody, go move, move up your seat. I said, go over here and dig again. Come on, let's move up your seat. I said, go over here and dig again. Go over here. There's water. There's spring water. 